Hello and welcome to my video in where I give you everything you need to know about the Lone Wolf Audio 8-Ball EQ. Disclaimer, this is not the greatest pedal in the world. This is just a tribute, although it's technically quite big. To make things short, I own a plethora of Joe's pedals and keep putting out reviews, but talked just once about him. So check out my left hand breath chainsaw files for more information. And then the other videos. All of them. At first I have to say that the 8-Ball is not a further developed 6 hammer EQ. It might seem so, and I thought it as well at first look, but they are both totally different. The 6 hammer mimics the EQ control that can be found on the SEC console at Studio Sunlight and the 8 ball is Joe's famous left hand breath EQ without the gain stage. The 8 ball EQ has, who might have guessed, 8 knobs to play with. It's basically a 4 band EQ, but you can alter the center frequency of each band. Low handles everything from 70 to 300 Hz and low mid from 1.5 to 4 kHz. High mid can be dialed in from 800 to 3 kHz and high from 1 to 4 kHz. Each frequency can be boosted or cut for around 20 dB. Here are the EQ curves with everything at noon. You can see nothing and that's actually good. Now with everything turned to max, center frequency still at noon though, the curves become already familiar. The low peak is pretty accurate, the high peak is much broader though. With low mid at noon, the high peaks are closer to the original, but everything over 200Hz is a few dB quieter, but I think that's due to the missing gain stage. This pedal is meant to be used after a distortion, fast overdrive or boost pedal or in the FX loop of your amp, but since this is the chainsaw files, we keep it simple here. I just throw it in front of the amp with a Maxon OD808 as well as a Boss MT2 with neutral EQ settings. Let's see how this turns out.
Initially, I was very underwhelmed by the 8-ball EQ. I found it okayish, but actually boring and kinda dull. But then I found out that you actually have to dial back the volume on your pre-pedal to unlock the full potential of the 8-ball. So with this must-do in mind, let's compare it with the HM2. It highly depends on the kind of pedal you put in front. The more distortion it has, the closer it is to the original. With the OD808, the 8-ball was very crisp and not as muddy as the HM2. The notes were clearly separated from each other. With the MT2, it was much closer, but still different. That's of course because the 8-ball has the optimized left-hand breath EQ curve. So if you like it, like I do, then you think it sounds better than the original. If you don't like it, you might turn some of the 8 knobs to tweak it a little bit. They are mostly very effective and definitely a huge plus. If you still don't like it, that's totally okay, because tonal taste is very subjective. Although there probably is something wrong with you. With that said, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the future in-depth review of the 8-ball EQ and where I will test some other settings and tips or tricks from the master himself. That is Joe, not me.